Hi students, today we are going to discuss diary entry. Watch this video carefully and it will help you to get full marks in your exams. This is useful for grade 8, 9 and 10 students. So let us discuss how to write a diary entry. Maintaining diary is a good habit. Moreover, one can always check Facts looking back. Remember events. Find an outlet and effectively document one's life by writing diary. A diary is a special piece of writing where we can write down our feelings, emotions, secrets, good or bad experiences, etc. We can also write about the things that have happened in the particular day because it is so personal we can use informal language while writing in it so let's discuss the format of diary entry diary writing is one of the most personal and informal categories of writing a diary writing can be based on an experience a scene a description or narration of certain event or any other thing or activity the writer considers worth writing in his or her diary. As I said earlier, it's a personal piece of writing. A diary entry has no fixed format or style of writing. However, a good diary entry does contain the following features so students let us discuss the format of diary entry a good diary writing contains the date the day and even the time at which we are writing the diary so let us discuss one by one now so students whenever we are starting to write a diary we have to choose the top left margin side and at first, we can write the place. The place is not at all compulsory. It is optional. The place is followed by date. So I will explain how to write the date. The format of writing date, I will explain now. 29th June 2020. So, 29th June. If it is September, you have to write the month completely September. Don't write the short form of September, SEP, November, NOV. Okay. So, write the month as it is. Okay. September, October. After that, put a comma and put the year 2020. Then the date is followed by day. So, when you are writing the day also, Please keep it in your mind that you have to write the word completely. For example, Saturday in the sense, don't write sat. That is wrong. Write completely Saturday. Monday, it's not morn. You have to write Monday. Tuesday, it's not Tuesday. Write completely Tuesday. Okay. I hope you understood. So, the day is followed by time. Obviously, it will be PM because we will write the diary entry most probably during night. So, let me put 11 PM here. The time is followed by a space. You can leave one line. After that, just address the diary as dear diary. Dear diary is followed by the body of the diary. The body of the diary consists of introduction, main content and conclusion. So after dear diary, just start as a paragraph. The introduction should be 
in two or three sentences and in the introduction we can mention about the weather of the day otherwise we can describe the day we can express our own feelings or emotion on that particular day but anyway it should be an ice breaking sentence let me give an example now we can start like this it was a cold day or it was a bright day otherwise it was the worst day in my life so that when we are taking this diary after a few years and reading it at that time we can understand the our state of mind while writing the diary introduction is followed by the main content it should be brief so there we can reveal a particular event or a series of events happened on that particular day we have to write about the effect of the incident let me say an example on that particular day your results came and you got very low marks your parents were very angry by seeing the marks you got your friends were teasing you so that is what the effect of the particular incident that particular incident is your results came and because of that results what are the effects you come across everything you have to write in the effect of the incident the effect of the incident is followed by conclusion conclusion it should be your future plans so anyway you got very low marks and you are planning to study well today onwards and you are expressing your feelings and your future plans in the conclusion conclusion is followed by the name you have to write your name on the left margin side the name is followed by the signature signature is an optional one it's not compulsory to be written there a diary doesn't need any formal heading however if you are writing it's an optional thing the style and tone are generally informal and personal as i have informed earlier diary writing is a personal piece of writing so we can use informal language however it depends on the subject sometimes the tone can be philosophical and also reflective too the writer can freely express his or her own view points and feelings as the diary is the writer's personal document the diary doesn't need any signature it is totally optional so students whenever we are writing diary entry we have to use simple past tense that is subject plus b2 plus object sometimes we can use present perfect tense also the form of present perfect tense subject plus have or has plus v3 so whenever you are saying about your future plans in the conclusion you have to use subject plus will or shall plus v1 and one more thing that is very very important whenever you are writing diary you have to use first person narrative that means i you have to say your own experiences when you are writing a diary here is an example for a diary entry let me read the question now you paid a visit to an old home with other nss volunteers using the hints given below together with your own ideas make a diary entry of what you saw and experienced there here are some hints old home mostly senior citizens about 60 peaceful surroundings spacious clean rooms and baths regular medical checkups a good library means of recreation a home away from home so these are the hints given in the question by using the hints you have to write the answer let us see how to write the answer already i have informed you that it is not compulsory that you have to write the place it is completely optional 
so here it is written malappuram then you have to write the date there is no space in between the place and also the date 10th march 2020 and the date is followed by day monday in the same line itself you can write the time otherwise you can write it in the next line 8 pm it is obviously pm because we will write the diary at night so after time just leave a line and in the next line on the left margin side write dear diary just address the diary as dear diary and in the next line you can start writing the introduction main content and conclusion let me read the answer with the disintegration of the joint family system the old people find themselves deserted and alone it is unfortunate that in the evening of their lives they are not looked after by their children the concept of old homes is for such old people i made it a point to visit the old home at malappuram the home is situated at a peaceful place the building is simple but spacious and clean it seems to be an ideal place for the senior citizens a doctor visits the home daily to check up the senior citizens there is a permanent nurse employed to look after and give them medicine on time the home has a good library and several means of recreation all the inmates shower their parental love by insisting on having lunch with us what a satisfying and rewarding visit it was to meet our grandpas and grannies so after the conclusion we have to write our name it is written sandeep here so here sandeep is describing the events happened in the past he visited an old age home in malappuram and the things he saw there and the feelings arose in his mind when he saw the old grandpas and the grannies there students i hope you have understood today's class so let us meet with at another new video thank you have a nice day